is the mind in which I think. God is the mind in which I think. God is the mind. Lesson 45 in A Course in Miracles God is the mind with which I think. Today's idea holds the key to what your real thoughts are. They are nothing that you think you think, just as nothing that you think you see is related to vision in any way. There is no relationship between what is real and what you think is real. Nothing that you think are your real thoughts resemble your real thoughts in any respect. Nothing that you think you see bears any resemblance to what vision will show you. You think with the mind of God. Therefore, you share your thoughts with God as He shares His with you. They are the same thoughts because they are thought by the same mind. To share is to make alike, or to make one. Nor do the thoughts you think with the mind of God leave your mind, because thoughts do not leave their source. Therefore, your thoughts are in the mind of God as you are. They are in your mind as well where He is. As you are part of His mind, so are your thoughts part of His mind. Where then are your real thoughts? Today we will attempt to reach them. We will have to look for them in your mind because that is where they are. They must still be there because they cannot have left their source. What is thought by the mind of God is eternal, being part of creation. Our three five-minute practice periods for today will take the same general form that we used in applying yesterday's idea. We will attempt to leave the unreal and seek for the real. We will deny the world in favor of truth. We will not let the thoughts of the world hold us back. We will not let the beliefs of the world tell us that what God would have us do is impossible. Instead, we will try to recognize that only what God would have us do is possible. We will also try to understand that only what God would have us do is what we want to do. And we will also try to remember that we cannot fail in doing what He would have us do. There is every reason to feel confident that we will succeed today. It is the will of God. Begin the exercises for today by repeating the idea to yourself, closing your eyes as you do so. Then spend a fairly short period of time in thinking a few relevant thoughts of your own, keeping the idea in mind. After you have added some four or five thoughts of your own to the idea, repeat it again and tell yourself gently, My real thoughts are in my mind. I would like to find them. Then try to go past all the unreal thoughts that cover the truth in your mind and reach to the eternal. Under all the senseless thoughts and mad ideas with which you have cluttered up your mind are the thoughts that you thought with God in the beginning. They are there in your mind now, completely unchanged. They will always be in your mind, exactly as they always were. Everything you have thought since then will change, but the foundation on which it rests is wholly changeless. It is this foundation 
toward which the exercises for today are directed. Here is your mind joined with the mind of God. Here are your thoughts one with His. For this kind of practice, only one thing is necessary. Approach it as you would an altar dedicated in heaven to God the Father and to God the Son. For such is the place you are trying to reach. You will probably be unable as yet to realize how high you are trying to go. Yet even with the little understanding you have already gained, you should be able to remind yourself that this is no idle game, but an exercise in holiness and an attempt to reach the kingdom of heaven. In the shorter exercise periods for today, try to remember how important it is to you to understand the holiness of the mind that thinks with God. Take a minute or two as you repeat the idea throughout the day to appreciate your mind's holiness. Stand aside, however briefly, from all thoughts that are unworthy of him whose host you are, and thank him for the thoughts he is thinking with you. is the mind in which I think. God is the mind in which I think. God is the mind. God is the mind. Now for the reflection on Lesson 45. There is no relationship between what is real and what you think is real. What a powerful statement that is. To imagine that nothing that you look upon now, any object, any person, any relationship, no thought you have about those things is real. And that the only way to tr think truly is to release those, to surrender those thoughts so that you can relearn what true vision is. And really, every lesson, especially here at the beginning of the course, is meant to do only that, to help you to release and to surrender and to trust. To surrender and then trust that even though you do not know how to see anything at all, and even though you don't know what anything really means right now, there is one that does. And that the Holy Spirit is there to show you. But only if you surrender and only if you trust that. So all of these lessons are really pointing in that one direction. To surrender, which is the realization that you know nothing. And that even though this to the ego sounds like great weakness, it is the beginning of true power. To release everything that you thought was real. To understand that in this moment you do not know what is real, but you are being shown. This is what true power really is. And as you trust more and more that what you are being shown here is leading you into that place where you really want to be, into your real thoughts, then there will be nothing that will stop you. <laughs>